Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper and today we're going to do the next video in our best places to find Prepper and Survival Items series and that store is the Home Depot. Before we get started too far, if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I release videos like this in the future. Now, Home Depot, it is my favorite place to pick up different types of tools, mainly because they sell the brands that I like. But it's also a good place for preppers to go pick up different types of prepper and survival items. So let's get started. The first category that we'll go over is security items. Home Depot is a good place for preppers to find gadgets and gear to help keep their home or property safe. The first security related item that you can find at Home Depot is security lighting. They have small pathway lights that you can use to give a little extra light in your yard, and you can also bring them inside during a power outage. You can let them charge during the day and use them at night to help you preserve your batteries for your other devices. Home Depot also sells larger motion-activated security lights. You can find lights that wire directly into your home's electrical system, as well as those that run on solar panels. They also have security lights with built-in cameras. Another security-related item that you can find at Home Depot is door reinforcement kits. These allow you to strengthen the areas of your doors that are most likely to fail during an attempted break-in. This makes them harder to kick in and could deter a thief or, at the very least, give you more time to react. If you have kids, you can also find several types of child safety devices to ensure that young children don't wander outside without you knowing it. Home Depot also sells padlocks, deadbolts, and other types of locks that can help you secure doors, gates, and other places you don't want people getting into. You can also find fencing supplies such as fence posts and chain link. They also have plywood and lumber which have a wide variety of preparedness and survival uses. You can use them to build various things, board up windows, and make repairs. If you stock up on lumber, make sure to also pick up the nails and screws you'll need to secure them. Home Depot also has a good selection of security alarms and cameras. You can find everything from cheap door and window alarms all the way to complete security systems that you can install yourself. They have options from several popular companies including Ring and Google Nest. If you live in an area that has tornadoes, you can find storm shelters there as well. The next category that we'll cover is personal protective equipment. Bad guys and wild animals aren't the only dangers that a prepper may face. In many survival situations, accidents are far more likely to incapacitate you and Home Depot is one of the best places to pick up professional grade PPE. You can find many types of work gloves such as those for gardening, working on your car, and heavy duty ones for demolition work. Demo gloves would be a good choice for urban survival. You can also pick up rubber gloves that could help protect you from chemical or biological contaminants. Home Depot's paint section is a good place to find different types of respirators. These include common N95 masks as well as half and full face respirators that have replaceable cartridges. I have a 3M half face respirator that I use for painting and sanding and even mowing the lawn because I have awful allergies. They also sell disposable coveralls that can protect you from dangerous chemicals and particulates. You can also find various types of goggles and safety glasses as well as earmuffs and earplugs. They can keep your eyes and ears safe while working, at the range, or during an emergency. Having extras of these is good since you can keep them at home, in your car, and at work. If you're going to process your own firewood or lumber, falling limbs are a real threat. You can find helmets and face shields to help protect you against those. And Home Depot also sells first aid kits. The next category that we'll go over is sanitation. One of the biggest dangers that preppers face during a long-term emergency or survival situation is the threat of disease, and many of these are caused by poor sanitation. Home Depot sells many items that can help you keep your environment clean and safe from bacteria, viruses, and pests. The first of these is trash bags. Trash bags have several survival uses. In addition to helping keep your house clean, they can also be used as ponchos or even shelters. Be sure to pick up heavy-duty contractor bags since they are much stronger than regular trash bags. You can also find a good selection of cleaning supplies. You can find common household cleaners, stronger commercial chemicals, and even toilet paper and other household essentials. If another shortage hits, hardware stores are a good secondary location to look for these items since many people don't normally think of them as being sold there. 
Bugs, mice, and other pests can destroy your food, spread disease, and cause many other problems. You should be able to find chemicals and traps to kill most of them, whether they're in your home, yard, or garden. Home Depot also has plastic sheeting, which has a variety of survival uses. You can use it to cover a broken window, protect belongings from dust, and even provide some protection from airborne contaminants. If you experience a winter power outage, you can use clear plastic sheeting to cover windows. This will prevent cold air from entering your home, and if you keep your blinds open, allow the sun to give light and heat inside the home. The next group of items that we'll cover is food and water supplies. When you think about Home Depot, food probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind, but it can be a good place for a prepper to get gardening essentials and water storage equipment. Home Depot, specifically on their website, is a good place to pick up hydroponic equipment. Hydroponics is a way of gardening that grows plants without using soil and takes up far less space than traditional gardening. In the case of aquaponics, those systems can also raise fish as well. They sell small countertop units for growing herbs as well as the components that you would need to assemble a large hydroponic system. You can also find food bearing plants and seeds in the garden section. If possible, try to select plants and seeds that are heirloom varieties. That will allow you to save the seeds and use them next season. They also carry garden and potting soil, mulch, and fertilizer. Home Depot sells pretty much any gardening tool that a prepper may need. These include things like rakes, shovels, and hoes, along with wheelbarrows for moving soil and other heavy objects. In addition to gardening tools, you can also pick up containers including pots and planter boxes as well. You can also find water barrels, which are a key component of water storage, including rainwater harvesting systems. Depending on your location, you may need to order these on their website, however, Home Depot does sell them. Gutters are other essential components of a rainwater harvesting system. You can find gutter components in different materials and color options. Home Depot also sells items that can help you obtain water if you are in an urban environment. A Silcock key will allow you to turn on exterior faucets on commercial buildings, which will give you another way to get water during an emergency. You should be able to find these with the plumbing tools. They also have siphon transfer pumps, which are usually used to remove fuel and other fluids from vehicles. However, they can also be used to scavenge water from crevices and other hard-to-reach spaces in a survival situation. Home Depot is also a good place to pick up off-grid cooking options. They have a large selection of propane and charcoal grills and smokers. They also stock charcoal and have a propane tank exchange. The next category that we'll talk about is tools. Like I mentioned before, Home Depot is my favorite place to pick them up. They have a good selection of both professional and homeowner grade tools. Having good tools is essential for preppers since they will help you be more self-sufficient and can even help in some survival situations. Hand tools can be used when working on projects, including prepping projects, and to save money by doing repairs yourself. They are the backbone of every prepper's tool collection. Even though hand tools are important, preppers shouldn't ignore power tools. They make jobs easier and much faster. This is an important consideration, especially if you live in hurricane-prone areas. Having good power tools will allow you to quickly board up windows and maybe beat the crowd out of town. Every prepper should have basic power tools like a drill, impact driver, circular saw, and reciprocating saw. Home Depot also sells larger equipment such as log splitters and wood chippers. They are also a good place to pick up flashlights and headlamps. You can even find larger lights that run off your power tool batteries. They can illuminate large areas and help you save your disposable batteries for when you actually need them. If you have to bug out, having ratchet straps and bungees will be essential. They'll keep your gear secure while transporting and can even help consolidate space. If you have larger equipment to move, then chains will be far more useful than ratchet straps and bungees. You can even use them to help tow vehicles, provided they are properly rated. Home Depot also sells different sizes of tarps, which have many survival uses. They can be used to protect or hide gear and can even be used as a shelter. If you live in a storm-prone area, large tarps work well to temporarily patch roofs, which can reduce water damage to your home. You can use glue and tape to make quick repairs on gear, vehicles, and even your home. Home Depot sells all sorts of adhesives, including industrial-strength epoxies. Home Depot also sells other useful tools like jumper cables and roadside emergency kits. 
They're also a good place for preppers to pick up fuel and other items that could help them generate power and stay warm. Having this type of equipment would be extremely valuable in a survival situation or emergency. These items could allow you to preserve food for longer, keep communication equipment powered up, and help keep you comfortable. Home Depot offers many different types of generators that could be useful in a survival situation. These include gas-powered portable generators as well as standby generators that use natural gas to power your entire home. If you can't find what you want in the store, be sure to check their website. I was able to order mine there and have it shipped to the store for free. They even brought it out to my car for me when I picked it up. You can also find most of the components that you need to assemble a solar power system. However, solar power components are another thing that you may need to visit Home Depot's website to find. You can get good quality monocrystal and solar panels to collect energy and deep cycle batteries to store it. Other pieces of equipment, such as inverters, are available as well. Home Depot also sells fuel cans to hold various types of fuel, along with fuel stabilizer to help your gas stay fresh longer. They're also a good place to pick up batteries for small electronics like flashlights, LED lanterns, walkie-talkies, and radios. The last category that we'll go over is organization. Being a prepper involves storing food, water, daily essentials, and many types of survival gear. Being able to organize all that is essential, and Home Depot is a good place to pick up the items to help you with this. They have many types of shelving, including pre-made units that simply snap together, as well as shelf boards and brackets that you can install into your home. You can also find plastic totes to help keep your gear organized. They'll provide some amount of protection from pests and water damage, and getting wheeled totes would be a good idea for heavier items and could help you get out quicker and easier if you had to bug out. No list of prep items would be complete without mentioning Home Depot's Homer Buckets. They are some of the most useful and cheap pieces of survival gear out there and you can use them for pretty much anything. They may not be rated as food safe, but they still have many uses. I've used mine for last minute emergency water storage, as a toolbox, and even to help remove cleaning media for my ammo brass. They also offer different sizes of sheds that you can use to store larger, less climate sensitive items outdoors. Once again, thank you for stopping by and if you enjoyed the video, please click like. Also, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know about videos I post later on. And I hope to see y'all back for the next video in this series, which is going to be the best prepper and survival items at Harbor Freight. Thank y'all again.